Mr. 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 Are you tired of measuring MOSFET with your multimeter? How about an easy and efficient little project for you? So your problems are over, because I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Inversor's new MOSFET tester. Like this? So let's go to the video for him to teach how to do this project. Guys, here we are taking a look at the diagram, what happens, there are few components, there is BC547, there are two BC547, one BC558 PNP with a negative base and here two NPN with a positive base, right? For us to make this tester, they are very indiscreet components and in any electronic store you can find them, okay? Use these two LEDs, as you can see, which is to indicate if it is on or off, when you press this button here it turns on and off, here is a Zener diode to limit this voltage for the LED to 5V, I put a Zener diode of 5V1 and 1K5 to limit the current for it, this circuit is powered with 12V DC. I do not advise using batteries that have very high currents or sources that have 3.4 or 2 amps there, I do not advise. I used a 12V power supply whose current was low, 0.5 ampere which is the same thing as 500M.A, so I had no problems, I observed the temperature of the transistors, they didn't heat up and worked normally. If you have a small 12V battery, like the ones used in a gate motor, it's even better. So here we have 4 resistors, 2 22K resistors, here 2 4K7 resistors, here a 4M7 gate resistor, 2 1 UF electrolytic capacitors, in the drain we will have a 100R resistor in the positive along with the 10UF electrolytic capacitor, plus a 1K resistor along with the 4K7 for the base of this BC558. Here from its collector a 470R to limit the current to the LED, this LED that is blinking as the switching you are going to put your MOSFET here to show that it is switching correctly right. And here we have 1N4148 polarized if it's cathode to the emitter of this BC. So here as you can see, I'm going to show you the layout of how it turned out, this scheme here is for you to download too, the link is in the description, the scheme plus the layout and top silk all right, just pass to the board and do everything right. So let's follow the layout of how it turned out, it was very good, I managed to couple the components together to save board, it was a very compact project, so let's go. Here guys, as you can see, I put this switch here but you don't need to, you can put a smaller switch only for when you press the button for it to act on the part of testing the MOSFET or not, it was all designed by me, be as compact as possible, leaving room for soldering too, the plate was around 80mm by 31mm, it was very small as you will see at the beginning of the video. So it was a very top project, there it was seen from above, if you want to send a manufacturer to do it, it will be much nicer, I always say that in the videos. In this part here, I drew with the parking meter, I drew everything guys, the LEDs I used here in my 5mm LED measurement, so as you can see here, 5.6mm the distance of each LED and it was nice. So now I'm going to go to the plate, I'm going to corrode, I'm going to pierce and I'll be right back with you. Hey guys there was no way, I had to buy the new LEDs, because those LEDs were too big and then it wasn't very cool, you guys. Since those LEDs were 10 millimeters, they would take up a lot of space, almost 2 centimeters from the board, so I bought these 5 millimeters LEDs each, then it will be really nice in the project, they are new, one green and one red, I'll install it on the board, high brightness LEDs. So guys, this was one of the projects I did the most, this MOSFET tester here it oscillates itself, and if the MOSFET is okay, this LED here can be the color you want, it will blink showing the switching of the MOSFET, if the MOSFET is simply shorted, it will not light up, it will only be this LED here, which is to indicate that it is on, as you can it, if I call here, the red LED will only be on, indicating that it is turned on, right? However the green LED will not blink because there is no MOSFET here. So I have here as an example these three MOSFET here, this MOSFET is the IRF740, so if we put it here, you can already see that the green light is flashing, it keeps switching, 
it switches much faster, but the camera, like that I'm recording at 30 frames per second, it picks up this speed more or less, so it looks like it's blinking slowly, but it's much faster than the camera is capturing. So this indicates that this MOSFET is okay, the MOSFET isn't burnt. This other MOSFET here too, as I got two, if it was defective at the factory or something, this LED wouldn't light up, so just insert it here, and you can see that the LED lit and blinking normally, so okay indicating that the MOSFET is working normally, this makes it much easier, helps a lot in your case, a simple circuit requires few components, most are resistors. 3 transistors and 3 electrolytic capacitors, Zener diode and 1N4148 diode, the switch you can put this one, you can put it. Smaller, a button that you press, goes from each one there, right? This one is another MOSFET too, it's the 5N60, if I'm not mistaken it's 5A12V, it came on a switched power supply that I'm doing the project, I know it's working because the power supply was, I removed this MOSFET from the board, I know they're okay, if they weren't okay it wouldn't light up, I'm holding it here because the legs of the MOSFET are cut and it's working perfectly, this circuit works with 12V. I don't advise putting the battery, because until then I haven't tested it so you can know. If it will burn any component, because if you use it on battery power, the right thing was to put a resistor in the power supply, right? So here's the project working. I saved as much board as possible, the good thing about making projects like this saves board, but you also need to have a good experience with soldering, because the components are next to each other, so if you're a more person layman you can end up welding one track to the other and it's very annoying to keep repairing. So it was a really cool project, if you liked the video, I ask your like to help me, subscribe to my channel, share in groups, give me strength for my channel to grow, okay? I'll make the link available for you in the description, alright. So guys, I don't have a burnt MOSFET to show, I'm not going to short the terminals here either because it's not mine, but if you do and the MOSFET is burnt, the LED won't turn on, the light will just stay on and off, but help a lot to not have to keep the multimeter measuring, wasting time. You just take it here, fit it here, if it lights up you know it's good, you took another one, put it on, you know it's good. Simple project easy to do, anyone can do it, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you subscribe to my channel, leave the like to help me, follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description, along with the Facebook group, so give me that strength there, so big hug, stay with God, and until the next video.